Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Marie and today I wanted to talk about my plans to participate in the Sew Up Cycle 22 challenge. This challenge is run by Becky from uh, Notes from the Sewing Room and Karen, uh, who is So Little Time, and it's all about upcycling fabric, a garment, something something other than new fabric um, into a new fabric for a person. Um, and the reveal of this is taking place on Instagram on the 31st of October. Remember, if you're taking part in this, to show a before and after so that we can actually all see the transformation together. One that I saw a couple of weeks ago and it's an interesting one. I'm not quite sure what motivated me to participate because I'm not creative in that sense of upcycling things. When I watch the sewing bee uh, and I watch them do the transformation challenge, um, I just wouldn't know where to start on that challenge. So um, unless it's really obvious, I'm, I'd never feel creative in that respect in transforming one thing into another. So I've got to that point in that in the year now where it is time to swap the wardrobes over. So take out all the summer stuff from the wardrobe and put it away and get the heavier winter stuff out. I haven't quite done that yet. So I want to just leave it another week or so. Um, but, excuse me, hiccup. Um, but there are two dresses that um, I could see immediately um, that... I wanted to do something with. One of them I have worn a couple of times over the summer, but really it was one of those I put on in the house when I wasn't going anywhere. Um, so it didn't really get much wear. And the second one is one that I think I made it a couple of years ago. I wore it to work maybe twice. And it's just, I love the pattern but it just didn't work for me. And it was an early make of mine uh, in the last few years. So I think I've got figured out now what I would need to do differently for another pack, for another go at it. So let me start with that one, the one that I've not worn hardly since making it at all. And it is the um, Olympia dress from Love Notions. Um, I've put a line drawing picture in here so that you can see it's it's really lovely. I really liked the V neck. Um, it's almost like a shawl neck because the facing is part um, the facing is part of the you cut it and then you turn it over. So the facing is part of that, um, and it, it comes to a really nice V there. But um, this is a beautifully fluid. Uh, must be a viscose jersey um, and it, it there's a hole in it at that V um, and I think the fabric was just not sturdy enough and also I think I may be um, clipped too close so it's pulled apart there I don't think it's fixable um, and the other thing about this dress that I find is that when I'm wearing it I feel quite frumpy um, and I think that's because the waist seam is too low and it needs raising for me to feel less frumpy wearing it. Um, and the third thing, I suppose, is that the, the colours of this dress say to me autumn or winter, um, but the fabric is quite lightweight. So I remember now when I wore it to work, I wasn't actually that warm. It was a bit cold wearing it, so it didn't get much of an airing. So it's actually, um, it's kind of like a grey, but a green verging to the grey end of green. And then it's got this lovely kind of Art Deco cream and navy design on it. And I do still like the fabric and it is hardly warm, so it hasn't even bobbled in the usual places under the arms. Usually um, I get fabrics that bobble under the arms and where my arms hit my boobs there. I do get bobbling if something's going to bobble and it hasn't. So one advantage to this 
is that the front and back pieces are both in one piece so there isn't a seam up the front or up the back in the skirt part so that gives me and it's quite wide it's an a-line flare and it's uh, like a midi length well it's calf length on me so um there's quite a bit of fabric in the skirt part that i could do something with and also there are sleeves already there oh, the sun's coming around now so it's going to spoil anyway so I've got that. I don't wear it, but I really liked the fabric. So I'm going to see if I can find something I can do with that to make something wearable. Um, and then the second one, I mean, I haven't even got a picture of me wearing that one. I've, I've worn, it, worn it so little. Uh, the other one, I do have a picture of me wearing it. And this has already had a bit of a a bit of a, a botched job on it. This is the Hope dress from Style Arc, and I love the Hope dress. And I made, I've made two of them. Yeah, I've made two in this in woven fabrics, and the pattern does say you can make it in jersey as well. Um, it is kind of an afterthought, but it does say you can. Um, and I had this beautiful green. Um, jersey fabric which I got from sorry this one hasn't been ironed um, which I got from First for Fabrics uh, a couple of years ago um, and I was saving it for something nice and I thought the Hope dress would be the something nice and I made it and it it came originally with a, a facing uh, around the neckline and it just wouldn't sit with the jersey I think it just kept pushing it out of shape um, and I didn't want to stitch the facing down. So I took it out and I remade it with um, a collar, a neckband, you know, like a t-shirt neckband. So it's already had one go at it. Um, but again, this is another one where the, where the waist sits is too low. I think the heaviness of this jersey fabric is pulling it down. So it's even more obvious on this than it is on the woven versions um and i think i think the woven ones i like them as the, at the size they are but i could probably size down on them um and get a nice fit too i definitely should have done that with the jersey version but i was too lazy and i couldn't be bothered to trace out um the size down so i just i think i just did larger seam allowances and whatever so again with this one it's um it is a raglan um sleeve so the bodice um will come in like that so there'll be a little bit less fabric to play with but it is quite wide because it it comes quite quite far out under the armholes and then again the skirt is in one piece in the front and one piece in the back so there's no seam up the front. So again, I think I can do something with that. And also, um, the Hope has got elastic in the sleeves there. So I'm hoping, I might be a bit short, but I might be able to retain this and make something with a bishop sleeve, bishop style sleeve. We shall see. Um, so they are two items that I'm hoping to do something with in the month of October. So do check out the hashtag uh, SewUpCycle22 because there is at least one video per day in the month of October leading up to reveal. Um, sometimes there are two. So today um, I am also joined by the Dressmaker's Closet. Um, yesterday we had videos from Deb's Made This and The Little Walking Foot. And tomorrow you can look out for Granny's Sewing Room and Cathcraft. So in the space of three days, there's six videos, hopefully to give you a little bit of inspiration of how you can take part as well. But I will be revealing mine um, at the end of the month. I'll have a little video, hopefully with my new makes. Um, and I hope you're joining in because I think it's a really good challenge to do at the minute. You know, we're, we're all trying to save a little bit of money where we can um, 
And so if I can, instead of folding these up and putting them in a drawer again, um, and then, you know, getting fed up looking at them next year again, um, make something that's wearable and that I'll enjoy wearing, then so much the better. Okay, thank you for listening in and I will catch up with you again soon. Take care.